Number six, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted lowry base. And then we have letter A out of the bunch. So in this case, we just have to write a net ionic equation, just stating how HS minus is going to act as a bronsted lowry base. I believe we did this one for a bronsted lowry acid as well in the past couple of questions, maybe number four. So this compound is called amphoteric which means that it can act as both an acid and, its, and a base. So in this case, we're going to act as a base. Now, Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists that came up with the idea of what acids and bases do uh, when they're in uh, aqueous media. And what bases do specifically is that they will always accept or take, accept is the same word for take, they will always accept H plus ions. And H plus is called hydronium. Now there's another way of writing a hydronium, right? Which is H3O plus. So just know that if you see H plus or if you see H3O plus, it means the same thing. But it's easier to just write down H plus because you only have to deal with one element, literally hydrogen. So now how do we write that our base is going to be accepting an H plus? Well, I kind of wrote down a guide down here your base is going to be adding or accepting an H+. The base and the H+, have to be on the same side. So let's start there. We have HS, and that's a minus, plus H+. Plus. Now, whenever you have ions, charged, you know, species in a net ionic equation, those are always going to be aqueous. And since we're dealing with acids and bases, they're going to be aqueous as well. Now, since HS minus is not on our list of six strong bases, we know that this solution is going to be in equilibrium. We've done tons of problems last chapter, chapter 13, dealing with equilibrium. But uh, I would just memorize your six strong bases because they're going to play a huge, you know, come up big this chapter, I promise. Now we just have to write the conjugate acid. So all you got to do is just combine all the elements into one compound. So now I had one H from HS, but now I'm adding another H. So how many H's do I have? I have two H's. So I'm just going to say that, okay, I had HS, but now I have two of them. So I write H2S. This is my conjugate acid. My conjugate acid is always going to be one hydrogen more than my base. And it's an acid, so AQ. And now I just have to make sure that the charges are the same. You always do that by adding one from your base. So my original base was a minus charge. This was initially a minus one. So minus one plus one, negative one plus one is zero. So you don't even have to write anything. And that's it. This is your net ionic equation to show that HS minus can actually ask, you know, act as a bronsted Lowry base. And you're done. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for viewing the video. And I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.